knew who this person was because his voice is so incredibly generically Irish. But his name is Mike in Dumont. And imagine in your mind fanfare right now. Imagine, do you have it? No. No problem, we lost our fanfare card. Imagine a drum roll, a timpani, something like that. This was the call last week on Mike kind of giving his view of the royal family, as only Mike from Dumont can do. Hello, Lionel. Hello, Bruce. Hi, and Mike. I'm proud to be able to talk to you this evening. Thank you. Mike, and, uh, you're I really an Irish. I your, your show. Now, I'm very excited. I haven't been on the phone. It's the first time. Now, uh, looking at this bitch on the front of the Daily News with the crown on her, I really, I'm really, <laughs> I'm from stitches. This would be the queen. I, uh, that's the bag. She's, uh, <laughs> she was on the throne, as Lionel said. She must have a good sore ass, and I hope she has. Now, uh, Mike, you, Mike, well, Mike, Mike, you, you are Irish. That's that right. Mean? And that may explain some of the uh, the uh, contempt that you have for Oh, you better imagine. believe it. By the way, in fact, most people don't know this, but in fact, it was, we learned before that the Queen has, in fact, been on the throne since 1945. <laughs> been on the throne <laughs> since 1952. That's 52, for 45 years. So that yeah. explains a lot. Now, the other thing there that these people ringing up, making excuses about her going to boarding school and... You're going back here uh, uh, 70 years. That's a lot of crap. We're into a different age right now. This dame is a tough dame. Don't ever forget it. On top of that, she's quite, she can sling him back, too. She looks like she's half in the bag there today. <laughs> <laughs> she, lo she loves the gin. She loves the gin. I used to work with a guy in England for a while outside Buckingham Palace, and he'd been working in there in the kitchen. He worked there for about four years, so they got him out of there. He told me all about these people for many moons. She gets her load on. Now going in and talking about her husband, the Duke. He's another. We used to call him there. He, if you go to Australia, I was there in 59 and 60. They used to call him number one whoremaster when he came there. <laughs> He Why did the that? rest of the guys at the stand. He was away. They used to set him up down the place in King's Cross in a hotel. Anything in sight, he was into. <laughs> a first-ass bastard, too. Oh, I, knew, I knew I liked this Oh, you'd like me. I know you guys to see you guys, but I never spoke to you. And you can also, uh, you can also go back into the history about these lords. There's a guy there you may recall about him. His name was Lord Montague. Do you remember him? Sure, but tell us. Bring us up to speed. Well, uh, well this guy here, he was good with the Vaseline. There's no question about it. <laughs> God only knows how many he, he God only knows how many he gave in the can. That guy. Wow. That son of a bitch. <laughs> so my my feeling my feeling of the Ryan family today is that a bunch, the majority of them they're tough people, the majority of them are perverts. <laughs> and they have some balls talking about Irish people and drinking. <laughs> They talk about Irish people drinking. They're bombed out every night. They drink gin until it comes out their shoes. You take a good look at her there today. Well, I'm looking at the photo of her on the Daily News or a cover, and indeed... Yeah, I'm looking looks, at her. She looks a bit... Um, oh, she, she very well could be. Sure. And Bruce and I are, are experts in the detection yeah. of a bit of variety. I know the two of yourself and Bruce are on the ball there. You're sizing her up. <laughs> and you're sizing her up there. You have a good look at that bag. And uh, the majority of the English people... The, the majority of the English... I give them a few more years to last in there. Then they're going to be kicked out of there. They're not going to be in, uh, they won't, uh, that monarchy is going to collapse. Mike, I understand that the, that the Queen Mom is also a gin fancier as well. Oh, she's another bag. I had the pleasure <laughs> of meeting her. She presented me, uh, she, she presented me, I was in sports. I used to pull a guy, did you ever hear of a game called Tug of War? Yeah. Well, I pulled Tug of War, I pulled, believe it or not, I pulled in Kensington quite a few years ago. I was a good, so the old Queen Mother, back about 30 years ago, I was over in England, and lo and behold, we won this tournament. So she presented me with a pin. I'll never forget it as long as I live. I was going to slap her across the face. <laughs> the son of a bitch. But I, I, thought, I, I thought these bastards had arrested me. I was going to slap her across the face. Now, now Mike, what, yeah. what did she ever do to you? What? <laughs> I hold them responsible going back for years. These people are ruthless. I hold the monarchy responsible for not all the things that has happened in my country and all over the world. These people are ruthless, for Christ's sake, Lionel. <laughs> Come on, man. Huh? 
<laughs> they're, lo they're ruthless, these lords and ladies. What, they, what type of perversion? You know that dame that got killed there on 72nd Street? That uh, whatever she was... the, oh, guy the dominatrix. Was, uh, what was her the, domi the dominatrix? Whatever she was doing, whipping them or tying them up. Right. Listen, do you think that's not going on in there with them? That went, that's where it all started, Lionel. It all started with the gentry in England, all that, going back through the ages, if you read the history. That, of course, was Mike in Dumont. There was a part of his <laughs> speech that he... <laughs> it gets better. It gets better every time. And better. <laughs> and better. He is beautiful. The number 800-848-WABC.